What it do, family? It's your girl Tamika from Shamika and Tamika TV. I'm just asking all of my supporters, all the people that follow me, to make sure that on Monday, every Monday, that you tune in to Brown Table Talk. What You're is saying, that? what is Brown Table Talk? It's the bootleg version of the Red Table Talk. Oh. It's just a forum, a segment that me and my wife created to where we can bring all these different types of issues and we can have all these different types of discussions together. You know what I'm saying? Things that affect us or the people that we love. Let's talk about it so every monday make sure that you tune in to btt brown table talk man i want to see you there now let's get back into this video you did What it do, family? It's your girl, Tamika, and I am back with another video. Listen, you guys, man, I appreciate you guys coming back and tuning in. If it's your first time here, go ahead and smash the subscribe button and turn those post notifications on for me. Please do that. Happy Friday, family. We made it. It's the end of the week. It's the last day. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm so, I'm so overworked. I'm so overworked. Like, I am so over it. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the squad s &T. Man, I love y'all, man. Thank y'all for coming back and tuning in. Man, today's early morning video, man, we finna go ahead and tune in and react to the royal family. You know what happens when you start going on this uh, on this fitness journey or whatever like that. You start fighting over food, cheat days, become more important. All of that shit that I'm going through right now, man, I want a burger. At 8.30 in the morning, I want a burger, a sloppy-ass Whopper burger. You know what I'm saying? But I can't even really eat it like that because I can't have the bun. And what's the point of the burger without the bun? You understand what I'm saying? So without further ado, we about to slide right into this video. You dig me? What's up, Spicy Mafia? Me, Patty, and Queen just finished putting that pain in. We just left the gym. Today was very hard because, you know, the weekend, we had the whole weekend off. So it was, it was a very tough. I'm not gonna lie, he killed us today. It, it hurts for me to even carry this camera right now and vlog. And, but I'm excited because I see a difference. I, I don't got. Yo, that's that good feeling, that burn. Shorty, when you had that burn, man, you know you working them muscles, bro. And it make you feel good. Even though you be tired as hell, it make you feel good. And you know, one thing I do notice when you work out, Shorty, you sleep so much better. I don't know if it just, like, releases more melatonin. Like, one of my good friends was like, Shorty, you need some melatonin because I just be up, Shorty. Like, I can't sleep worth shit. You know what I'm saying? But I bet you if I had that personal trainer, I'd be knocked out in a fetal position. You feel what I'm saying? I'm proud of these dudes. Clarence, man, you need to go see I've been African because you looking scruffy, McGruffy. <laughs> that belly no more not honestly like no more belly at all and then i look how ripped i'm getting I see a big difference because of the, the eating that boy know what he doing man you thirst trapping and shit pulling your shorts down and shit to where you can see the v you know queen like that v and i know every woman that's watching this video right now like that v except me you know what i'm saying like dead ass serious man but shout out man because this boy used to be ripped I remember girls going postal for that boy on IG, man. Like, swear to God. I've been doing the, the work I've been putting in, you know what I'm saying? Just the overall dedication. So I just drove Queen to the studio. Uh, about to drop her off. She's about to work on, like, one of the last songs on her album or something like that. I just wanted to keep you guys updated with my fitness journey. You know what I'm saying? It's going good. I feel amazing. I feel way more energized. I could stay up later. I could wake up earlier. It's like I'm just fully... Energized. How you feel? Man, my legs feel like noodles. Noodles. Queen is looking so good, y'all. I dropped a video yesterday. It's called Queen Tober. You know what I'm saying? Basically, it's just giving us a little insight pre-album drop. If that even made sense, it probably don't. But let's add it to your vocabulary. But anyway, man, I need for you guys to go ahead and click on that video and watch it so we can play homage to the Queen. She coming, y'all, and she looking hella good. Sheesh. Like that series, man. I'm super proud of her, Clarence, the whole spicy game, man. Go up, go up. You understand? But I feel yeah. good. Like, I'm going to work out again tonight. Drop her off. I'm about to leave now. Man, why you sound like a no kid? You dropped me off. I want some of that. Look who I just picked up from daycare. It's a little legend. <laughs> Yo, hold on for a second. You see how nephew turned around when he said daycare? He like, Shawty, don't say that shit to me. Man, my baby really don't like school, Shawty. <laughs> Yo, go back and rewind this, Shawty. And look how that dude turned around and looked at daddy when he said something about daycare. He is over it. <laughs> nah. Whoa, 
I seen that. You was standing. He getting ready for the camera already. He like, Daddy, give me that. Let me show you what I'm talking about, man. That boy Legend got more subscriber. I mean, more uh, more followers on Instagram than any one of us put together. Shot it. He ain't even one. I'm like, damn, nephew, let me get like 20k from me. You know what I'm saying? This little dude is adorable. Shot it. Like, I'm. I just. I don't know. The older he get, just the more just adorable he get. Him and CJ is some handsome ass kids, bro. I pray to God that I have a healthy. Beautiful baby like these folks when me and my wife go ahead and finish our journey or whatever But this is so damn cute to watch last year Shawty Clarence was just jumping in the backyard Busting balloons and shit, you know what I'm saying? Now he here standing up about to walk about to go to work like oh my god He about to be 40. I don't know what to do. Y'all let's move on No <laughs> He started smiling because he seen Patty going to the back room and now he he loved to go to the back room. <laughs> right, as soon as you went, he started smiling, bro. He like, oh, this is lit back there. Legend. Legend. No. This kid got knocked down the P4. If you pull out, he got knocked it down. Oh my goodness. Legend. You can't knock on the game. Look at Uncle Patty with the Coco Brown two-pick legs. You know what I'm saying? It's so cute, man. I'll be so happy when I see my boy Patty in a relationship. I just want to see him in that in that type of light. You know what I'm saying? He a Virgo, so I know he going to be a good dude. You know what I'm saying? I know he got his little thottish tendencies right now, but he's single. You know what I'm saying? Y'all lay off my boy. Shawty like dead serious. But it's just so cute to watch because look at Uncle Pat. Big dog. Matter of fact, let me make sure the game a little more safe. <laughs> yo, yo, what you doing, legend? Nah, yo, this ain't your play toy right here. Uh, he's trying to walk towards the room. <laughs> legend, you can't walk. I was about to say, nephew, crawl it out because your pants, legs on that hardwood floor, boy, it's going to be scoop. You know what I mean? But listen, let me try to tell y'all something. You are not a baby unless you fall off the bed. Let me tell you something. My nephew fell off the bed at least six times when he was like legend side. I'd be in my room and my sister be in her room and all of a sudden you're just here. Dude, oh shit! Like dead ass serious. But that's what brings you into babyhood. When you fall off the bed, you gotta be able to do that. Tomorrow. Alright y'all, so I can't really hold the camera right now because I'm driving as you can see because uh, Queen drove here and she almost trashed the car. So, no, I didn't. Stop. Um, I'm driving back. Tough workout. It wasn't as bad as yesterday. You gave us more. You, you okay. Sorry. You cut my head off. We have more workouts today and I think it really killed me today on the abs, but I love the dog putting that pain in and I lost four pounds. You know what I'm saying? And I'm shredding up. It's lit. When I first came here, he weighed me. I was 192. Today I weighed myself 188. And my goal is to be, he said, like 180 would be like my. That's lit, bro. Like, man, that's why having that personal trainer is everything, Shawty, because it just push you, especially on the days where you tired, your muscles hurt, and they like, no, I don't want to go. And then that personal trainer hit you and be like, your ass need to be here. You know what I'm saying? So it makes you push yourself further than you even imagine that you could be able to do. Because honestly speaking, like dieting, weight loss, fitness, it's mostly mental. So we got to get right here before we can even start everywhere else. You know what I'm saying? But it's like dope as hell to watch. Cause he dope. He, can you imagine how these pictures about to look on Queen Bird? They shot it like these folks is about to be looking like some snacks. I seen Patty on IG trying to work out his little self. He need insure. He needs to buck up. My bro need to bulk. He need to bulk up. I can't even get it out though. Or whatever. He can gain about ten pounds though. Patty's a handsome dude, man. I be seeing a lot of y'all people come for him on Twitter, and I be want to slap it out of y'all, bro, because it's just so ridiculous. This man literally be minding his own business in his own lane, and y'all just want to keep trying to take time and take shots at their dude, shawty. I swear to God, I better not see none, none one of y'all, bro. I swear to God.
my best weight right there where I can see how chiseled and, and muscular I get. I know this is vlog, but y'all, I lost three pounds. Last week, I was 144. Today, I weighed myself and I was 141. So by the end of this week, I'm out the 40s and my goal is 130. Back to you, Jim. You know I want to get some fruit and some bacon, yeah. Yeah, we ran on the bacon, so. And we doing, and look out for some videos for the Roy family because we doing that today, too. Yeah, dig. Target is not promoting any healthy eating at all. I tried to go in there and get some turkey bacon. <laughs> they only had the pork. They only had the pig, pig, pig bacon. You know what bacon is also good too that a homeboy of mine put me on to? Beef bacon. It's actually really, really good. And it actually almost tastes better than regular bacon. You know what I'm saying? But it's really good. I don't like turkey bacon. It's too thin to me, man. That shit be like... <gasps> jerky like drop it in the comments who, who else like turkey bacon? i can't get into turkey bacon even though i know it's healthier or whatever beef bacon be bomb though i ain't even gonna flex to you because it's kind of like bacon but just beef you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying they're not they're not they don't want you to be healthy in target mom. so we head in the public to see if they got some some turkey bacon mom remember try to stay away I'm almost 100% sure, certain that Publix is going to have it. You know what I'm saying? When I lived in Atlanta, man, that's what I lived in Publix. You know what I'm saying? Because you can go get you some food while you're shopping. That's some fat shit. I'll be in there grocery shopping, get me a sub. So I'm over there eating me a, a, a turkey and cheese while I'm shopping. That's that fat shit. That's why I need to be in the gym with them, bro. Like, seriously, I used to weigh 101 pounds. Now I'm like 140. That is beast. I got No, I got to grow up. I got to do better. I got to work on myself. Y'all help me. Away from the pig. You know what I'm saying? We do not eat pig. You know what I'm saying? Well, I, I used to eat pig, but I don't anymore. You know what I mean? I'm about to hop in the shower because I stink. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Man, you stupid. I'm about to hop in the shower because I stink. Hello? You know what I'm saying? But we got some good news. I'm the first step is admitting it, bro. Shit, as long as your funky ass ain't walking around thinking you smell good, at least you know. That's why the nose is put here down, so you can smell your breath all the way down, shawty. Like, you get the first you get the first view to your shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand it. That's why we got the snout. You know what I mean? Feeling amazing. I just got my workout in. I'm feeling good. It's only a couple days. My two weeks is up with the um the green beans and the salmon and the burger bowl. So I got two new things. And I'm eating one of them right now. Look how does that look? Some greens and boneless hot wings. Queen of nutrition, she hooked this up for me. You know what I'm saying? For picky eaters like myself. They even got like, you know stuff for us <laughs> we all see yeah man y'all gotta watch my ads because i gotta get a personal trainer because i want to feel how they feel and i feel like if i had some meal prep it'd be even better because i think that's the hardest part sometimes like you know when you're at work and you're on a go and you need to be able to eat correctly but then the only thing that's around your ass is popeyes burger king and all types of shit and you know what you know what's really crazy man when you go into these stores or whatever it's amazing how a two liter soda would cost your ass $2.19. But then you can go on one water, dog, and it's $1.59. See, they out here trying to kill us all, bro. It's all a setup. It's all a setup. The big ass slushies a dollar. You know what I'm saying? But water, water is almost three bucks. You know what I'm saying? You can't even be great if you want to be great. You know what I mean? What meal preps you got? These are patty meal preps now. You like crabs? Crab legs? Oh, she yeah, got crab, she got crab me in there too, like crab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this kid is <laughs> it's real good. You know what I mean? <laughs> Wanna come take a look at it? Wanna look at it? It's cold. I'm not even worried about that. It's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna taste the greens first. Oh God, dog, Patty is a walking garbage disposal. I have witnessed this dude eat. He gains no weight. I don't understand. This man can eat a whole buffet of food, shawty, and it goes nowhere. I eat one cupcake, one cupcake, and that shit is on my ass for two months. You know what I'm saying? I really need to borrow this man's metabolism. I need some because, I mean, I'm going outward. You know what I mean? I'm already short as hell. I'm just like, damn, give me a break. What if I had Uh, you had the green 
Elevated is good. Hell no. Wait, 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 Way to promote health and wealth, cause you know that shit ain't hitting like that. Like they said, them greens do look good, though. The greens look good. I don't know. I'm a little skeptical on those boneless hot wings. You know what I'm saying? I just, you know, it's to the point where I'm almost not trusting chicken as much. Even when I go get me some wings sometimes, bro, they got to fly them bitches like eight times for me. I'm just starting to become finicky when it comes down to meat. Like, I don't know what's going on with me, bro. Oh, yeah, I can eat that. I don't know if everybody can relate to I can eat this every day. Me too. The greens here. Did you taste the wings there? Yeah, they fire let me get some. No, because we agreed on this. Mm -hmm. No, man, you can't take back your reason. You didn't pick the wings. You didn't pick the boneless hot wings. It's really boneless hot wings. For real? Are they busting? Mmm. Let me get a piece. Let me get a piece. Yo. Let me get a piece. Chanel made it specifically what I need. Babe, let me get like that small piece right there. That's so sweet. Listen, I don't know if anybody seen who can play this game, Shotty, but listen, it is the truth. When a man offers you some of his food or his last bite of his food, he loves you. All right, let's have a test. You know what I'm saying? I got two ways to figure out how a man loves you and how a woman loves you. Now, my father told me about the woman one, but I'm finna share this with y'all. You know what I'm saying? It's some gems I'm about to drop. So if a man gives you his last bite of food, he loves the hell out your ass. As a female, he loves you. He loves you. Without second guessing here, babe, get it. He loves your ass. Now, for the women. Now, if you want to test how a woman feels about you, ask her to make you a sandwich. Real shit. I put this test up to my wife, and that's the reason why she got wife. Now, if a woman just going in, in the kitchen and just put your ass, you know what I'm saying, some, some pieces of meat between two breads, no condiments or nothing, you might want to reevaluate your your uh, your relationship, my guy. You know what I'm saying? I asked my wife just to make me a sandwich, a ham sandwich, or some shit like that one day. She came back. She had lettuce on that thing, tomatoes, mayonnaise, mustard. She had it cut in half with a pickle. <laughs> with a pickle. With a pickle. Who puts the pickle? She puts the pickle on it. She put the pickle and sprinkled some black pepper on it. She loved me. You know what I'm saying? But for real, I'm asking everybody this weekend, go ahead and do the love test with your significant other and see how they feel about your ass. Like dead serious. Let's get back into the video. Mm. <laughs> That's good. Mm -hmm. mm. More. Spicy Mafia, it's dinner time. And for dinner, I'm having barbecue meatballs and stream beans with turkey neck. Yeah. She got a taco bowl. How the bowls? Told you. Fire. So good, and I still got my stream beans to eat and my is shake. It? I know it's kind of dope too because they don't have to worry about cooking and stuff. All they doing is warming shit up. So that makes it a little easier too, especially with the type of work that they do. Because they either doing videos, working on the album, working out, chasing Legend, chasing CJ. So sometimes, you know what I'm saying, to be able to cook properly every night, that be our downfall. You know what I'm saying? And as late. You know what I'm saying? Eating late at night sometimes could be our downfall. So it's almost kind of like a blessing in a lot of different ways for them because they get to free up a little bit of time to make videos for you and me. You know what I'm saying? Turkey. Isn't the turkey so like, see, like it's seasoned good? Yeah, it tastes like a taco. She told you? All right, don't tell the secret. First time trying this. This is my new week. Two new meals for me. I had the hot wings earlier. Now I got barbecue meatballs. I'm about to see them. All turkey. Greens is important because the greens, the greens make you go to the bathroom, right? Yeah, and it makes you less bloated. And it makes you way less bloated. So the, the greens is key. Protein.
Oh, well, then that's my problem. Shit, I need to eat a whole broccoli stalk then, because I be blowed and I be about to blow Shamika ass to death. Then I'm lactose too, but I love regular milk. Like, my whole life is fucked up. I got to do better. I got to work on me. I got to work on myself, y'all, like dead serious, because I do. I be bloated. Now, I will say, like, this last week and a half, I have not been as bloated. You know what I'm saying? Because I just been drinking more water and things like that. Um, But it, it's crazy how little things, little changes like that could just make you feel a lot better. Mm. Check in on legend. Look at him. He thinks he's grown. Dada, why don't you just sit down and watch TV? Dada, why you gotta stand up? Oh, I think you. I think he was the best. Legend was like, man, because I've been in the womb and I've been sitting down all my life. Now that I can stand, I'm finna put these knees to work, data. Like, dead serious, I don't blame you. I love this little dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, seriously, he is just the happiest kid I've ever seen in my life. All you see is the gummies when you see him, shot. He's so goddamn cute. Afro. Hold on, hold on. All right, Spicy Mafia, I'm gonna end the video here before, before Legend beat me up. You get what I'm saying? I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. You know what I'm saying? Before we end this video, is not that like the cutest shit you ever seen? Look how he just laying there like looking at daddy while he record. This little dude has been here before, y'all. I swear to God, shot it like his awareness and his attention is just uncanny for his age, bro. Like dead ass serious. And hell yeah, I've been watching T.I. podcast. You know what I'm saying? It's uncanny. You know what I mean? Like dead ass serious. You know, people be taking me through social blunders. <laughs> Nah, I gotta grow up. But that is just the cutest thing. They should actually, like, freeze this right here, man, and, and, and put that somewhere, dog. That is so damn cute. And little Legend, appreciate you for watching also. And make sure you guys are subscribed. So make sure you join the family. You know what I'm saying? We a lit family, and we going up. Thank you for watching. Appreciate you. Gang, gang. Man, nephew give me extreme baby fever, Shawty. Like, dead serious. That little dude is so damn adorable. And I just love the fact that he just always seems so happy. That just goes to show you, man, your upbringing in this world is everything. You know what I mean? I know some of us wasn't fortunate enough to have both parents. Myself included, I had a mother that was out there a little bit. But you know what I'm saying? You just gotta take those, you gotta take those moments and you just gotta make your your your, your life better. And you gotta break the cycle as best as you can. But I love everything that the royal family is doing. I know they're about to get ready to move. It's lit. Clarence has been talking about it on Twitter. I love the fact that they're about to basically have more room for their growing family. Not like 2020. No, I'm just playing, but um, it's, it's really dope to watch, man. If you want to see more reactions like this, give this video a thumbs up. Thumb me up, man, for real. Drop down in the comments whatever you guys want to see. Now, let's just chop it up. I'm always in the comments. I love talking to you guys. You know what I'm saying? Y'all make my day sometimes. Some days I come up, I wake up, and I be like, ugh. And then I see a comment from you guys, you know what I'm saying? And it just really, really make my day. Shout out to uh, Jackie Lawrence, man, for the kind words that you dropped for me this morning. I really, really needed it. Sometimes you don't even realize that even though we be smiling in this camera when this shit hit in, you know what I mean? Sometimes we go through our moments or whatever. And yesterday I had a moment. But shout out to Jackie Lawrence. And I also want to shout out my baby girl, Win Win. Shout out to you, baby girl, man. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for all of the support. You know what I'm saying? Until next time, I'm going to catch y'all, dog.